Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to Scania's Demo Center here in Södertälje in Sweden. <laughs> I'm not testing this truck today. I am testing their new L series. This is the L360. So I'm looking forward to showing you all around the exterior of the truck first. Then I'll hop inside and show you all the interior features. And then I'll be taking it around Scania's Demo Center on a test drive. You ready for this? Let's go. Okay, starting off with the looks on the exterior of the L-Series. So you see there it is very low to the ground. A very good truck for driving in around the cities and great visibility out of the cab. And very easy access in and out. Uh, really like these, they're so uh, easy to operate in around the cities. And look, we have a very low profile beacon there up on the roof. Now we have another Scania pulling in there as well, the XT. So yeah, let's just walk in for a closer look at the L360. So 360 horsepower and 1,700 newton meters of torque. And we have the LED headlamps there and the halogen spot lamps. And we have the washer jets there as well. So let me just uh, pull open that number plate. Uh, you have the tow hook in behind there. We have our advanced emergency braking system. And I'm just gonna pull open the grill. Now we don't have any oil dipstick here or even a top up to top up your oil uh, you have to tilt the cab but that's quite easy to do because when you press a button inside the cab you can tilt it electronically with this remote control so that's easy to do just for uh, topping up your oil and checking it there but uh, oh yeah just this yellow bar when you tilt the cab that is a safety bar that you put in place when you have the cab tilted just for extra safety but I'm actually kneeling down here. This is the first time I've kneeled down uh, with the grill open in a Scania. So it just gives you an idea of how low it is to the ground. And let me just uh, push, close that and also the grill and stand up here. And we have the sun visor, but I can reach all the way up here, look. So uh, yeah, very low to the ground. So we're just gonna demonstrate rising and lowering of this L series. But you'll see there, if I just zoom into the curb, just how low it is. So it's sitting there in its lowest position. So it would go into its right height, which is a bit higher than that. And yeah, it's very easy to rise up and lower. So let's just walk around. Now we do have, which is, these are very low profile tires. They're only a 55 profile. So a 315 22.5 inch wheel on the front. And we have the same size one on the back. But a bit unusual, we have a 70 profile on the middle axle here, uh, 315. So uh, yeah, that's uh, a bit unusual that we have a very low profile front and rear and a 70 profile there in the middle. We have a very handy locker here as well. Now the body is built by Laxo. They're a Swedish bodybuilder on this skip truck here. So uh, yeah, very easy. And there's a remote control in the cab as well for operating this. And you'll see there we have a cover. So you would cover over your skip with this cover. And we also have a handle there as well for tying down the cover. But uh, yeah, that's nice work there by Laxo. So I'm just gonna walk around the back and we have a look at the rear tail lamps there. They are LED. Now this is like a step one number plate for Scania. So this number plate wouldn't exactly be road legal, which is why they have to stick on this second number plate. And we have a hook there at the back for your skip for pulling it up. But uh, yeah, that is the whole idea of the L series. Just easy access, great visibility, and very safe for climbing in and out of. But let's just walk around here. Now we have a 350 liter diesel tank and a 47 liter ad blue tank. But yeah, let's just uh, give you an idea of how easy it is to climb in. Just watch, there's my foot, look. I'm size 11, by the way. <laughs> that's how low it is to the ground, look. And look how wide that step is. Look at my foot. Okay, let's hop inside and go down through the controls. So you see there on the door, I can demonstrate this because I'm standing on the ground. Uh, all the controls there on the door for your lights, your windows, heated, fully adjustable of course. 
and we have the driver's seat there on full air suspension and also for the passenger side that's also on full air that uh, passenger seat so let's just hop inside uh, this one is equipped there with the satellite navigation so your media cards there uh, we have our lift axle there your differential lock all your lighting controls here and this is for the body at the back so yeah all the controls for that and that's you can stand outside and use it remotely and let's go down through the steering wheel all your different controls as I've shown you all before and our cruise control so yeah I'm just gonna start it up so there we go and I will turn off the wipers there we go <laughs> okay let's just uh, I'll just give it a couple of revs here okay and let me just zoom into the so you can see there what we're grossing we're grossing around 17.6 ton now you're allowed to gross 26 ton on this three axle L360 and let me just push the steering wheel up out of the way and we can go down through these controls so on the rear there we just have back lights we can tilt the cab here so uh, that's very easy to do another backlight and your lights there on auto and down here we can rise and lower the front yeah it goes up quite quickly so I'm gonna leave it there at its full height and I'll show you that before we set off on the drive and then we can level off the suspension as well level it off here and that is for your external power for the back body so we can turn off the controls for the back body yeah we have the auto hold function here as well so it's not like hill hold where it'll hold the brakes for four seconds this is auto hold so it doesn't matter it'll still hold it for as long as you like which is fantastic so if I just move over here let me just show you quickly uh, they do have the table fitted to this L series so that's easy to fold out and have, you, have your food and do your paperwork on that now you can get that taken out and just have it as a glove box where you can fit an A4 size sheet of paper in there if you want and we have that window as well which is very nice and your leather finish there on the seats and our big sunroof as well uh, that's very easy to open and we can have our shade as well so yeah that's uh and the lighting as well great lighting in these we have the three upper lockers there as well and your tachograph more functions here for lights and your driver's card more storage over there and nice visibility from that window and we don't have any bunk in this l series that's just more storage back there and cup holders either side and we can hang various things off this if you want your jackets to be drying maybe hang them off that but yeah I think that's just all we need to know about the L series on the interior so I'm just gonna hop out real quick and just show you how much higher it is up off the ground so you see there it does rise up quite a bit so you've got good ground clearance now but uh, yeah I think it's time to uh, get ready now take it out on the road for a test drive and see what it's like okay so I'm now joined by Xavier he is sitting in the passenger seat and he's going to be joining me on the drive so great adjustment in the steering wheel up and down in and out so I always like that in the Scania so that is our gear selector so down our gears up our gears we have the automatic exhaust brake so just one touch of the brake pedal and it comes on automatically and we have auto and manual mode here where we can press that button and it will stretch our gears so we can go up and down through the gear selector manually so uh, that's very good and we have our electronic handbrake we can knock that off and as I said already we have the auto hold function as well and we can adjust the brightness of our display here by these switches and we have our advanced emergency braking system we can turn that off now on the window here we have the automatic windscreen wipers and our lane departure warning on the window there so yeah 
Xavier, I think we're ready to set off. Yes, I am. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Very easy. But, uh, Xavier, I think it's safe to say that this is the lowest Scania that I've driven. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. lowest to the ground. Yes. So, the whole idea of this, Xavier, as I said, is just the whole visibility, isn't it? It's uh, well, yeah. wonderful visibility. And we have so many other trucks here. We've got the S730, the R500. I mean, it's just fantastic to have all these trucks on display. We've got a log truck over there as well, and the buses. So we're just going to keep an eye on our right-hand side, just to make sure there's no traffic. Um, yeah, we're okay to go. So Xavier, I don't think people realize just how big your site is here. It's very I mean, big, yeah. Yes, we're talking is. 93 acres. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have a lot of uh, facilities here. Yeah, and the test track itself is uh, three and a half kilometers. We have a short way, long distance. We have uh, off-road. So it's yeah. got a lot of uh, possibilities. So we are grossing around 18 ton. And we do have 1700 newton meters of torque so we're just going up a gradient here this is uh, 8% yeah it is yeah 8% and then we will, we will be going downhill just to test it there but yeah so Xavier how many visitors a year do you have here to the demo center yeah it's quite a lot we have 12,000 visitors every year wow small group one two people or maybe a big group also sometimes 150 but we manage yes. yeah so like <laughs> you have thousands of invited guests oh yes yes yeah they wouldn't be like just people from the public just walking in no no, no it's uh it's uh, we, we get invitation from Scania, Scania dealer. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, quite uh, every, we can say every day. Also sometime in the weekend. <laughs> but uh, it's very nice place to, to see our product. Yeah. And it's nice that you have the hill sections as well. Yeah. So yeah. people can see how the truck performs on the hill. So yeah, I have the uh, automatic exhaust brake on. I have my foot off the accelerator. We're just going down a descent here, 8%. So one dab of the exhaust brake. Yeah, so I just have my foot just lightly pressing on the brake. So that was very easy. So Xavier, although the bin at the back is empty, you would still be allowed to gross 26 ton yes, it is, in yeah. Sweden. Two XL with uh, yeah. this XL distance on tire dimension. Yeah. Yeah, just move over this side of the road. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so it's great that you have so many trucks here for people to test drive. Yeah. From uh, Monday morning to Friday afternoon, we have a uh, lot of visitors yeah. from uh, every country, all the, all the world. But no, this truck is driving very well. We're on a six percent downhill section here and just taking our time going back down but you'll hear the exhaust brake kicking in there as well yeah it's very important to have these exhaust brakes and retarders just to help you going down the hill so you're not putting all this unnecessary heat on your brakes so we're going just uphill, another uphill section, and this is a uh, 6%. So if you would have seen my test drive of the S730, <laughs> we were grossing around 70 ton. So uh, that was very good to have that as a demonstration. But yeah, the L360, great. I just think it's fantastic the way it's so low and easy to climb in and out of so I'm just gonna go left here because we're just pulling back into the demo center so during the Scania driver competition this was all very busy and this was where the truck was given away on the right hand side you will see there we have an s580 on display and yeah the demo center is uh, a bit quiet today 
so I'm just going to drive down here so I can end our short little test drive beside another L series here with the box body but you see there all the trucks that Scania have for people to test drive yeah so we have the 280 there even smaller engine in that so if any of you do want to come to Scania just get in contact with your Scania dealer and try and organize an appointment to come here to the demo center but as I say if you want to visit the visitor center I mean any member of the public can walk in and you can have a look at the museum but uh, just look look at all these trucks just waiting for drivers okay so get over here to the demo center and take these for a test drive the R450 the P220 look the L280 the Scania bus the R500 yeah all here The L360, so that is a 9 litre diesel engine, of course. <laughs> and he's just rising it up there as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah, very easy truck to drive. And look, we have the L280 as well. Smaller engine in this with the box body out the back. So, uh, yeah, quite nice day today. So many trucks on display here and ready to drive and the R450 here and the P220 yeah uh, so yeah maybe I'll make another visit here again to the demo center at some stage and test drive another truck but I do hope you enjoyed the video of the L series so please give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll chat to you all again next weekend for another video Xavier's coming around again so guys thanks a mil for watching I'll chat to you all next weekend take care cheers Demo Center in Södertälje in Sweden and I will be testing driving ah, tell him to go around again